Have you ever wondered how Julian Banzan fueled cars during World War II using coconut oil as an alternative fuel? Imagine, in a time of global conflict, with traditional energy sources dwindling, one man from the tropical Philippines conjures a solution straight from nature's bounty. But what drove this man to such inventive heights? And how did his unique background shape him into the pioneering biochemist we know today? Think about this. How did he manage to transform a readily available resource like coconut oil into a viable fuel source? And what were the challenges he had to overcome during a period of intense global turmoil? What made his work so significant that it still resonates in our modern world? Stay with us as we delve into the extraordinary life and work of Julian Banzan. Prepare to journey through a tale of innovation, resilience and the power of human ingenuity. So lean back, let your curiosity take the lead, and let's explore this fascinating story together. Who was Julian Banzan, the man who pioneered this innovative use of coconut oil? To answer that question, we must travel back in time to the early 20th century, to the bustling streets of Bataan, Philippines. Born on the 24th of March, 1907, Julian Banzong was a curious child from a young age, fascinated by the world around him and always asking questions. His curiosity led him to the prestigious University of the Philippines, where he pursued his passion for chemistry, earning a bachelor's degree in 1928 and a master's degree in 1937. However, Banzan's journey as a biochemist truly began when he was awarded a government scholarship to the University of Iowa in the United States, where he earned his PhD in biochemistry in 1940. His research there was focused on the sugars found in native Philippine plants, and it was during this time that Banzan began to explore the potential of these plants as sources of alternative energy. Returning to the Philippines, Banzan's passion for biochemistry and his love for his homeland converged. He saw the abundant coconut trees that dotted the landscape not just as a source of food but as a potential source of energy. This was during World War II, a time when the demand for fuel was high and resources were scarce. Banzan's innovative thinking led him to experiment with coconut oil as an alternative fuel source. His determination was unwavering, his innovative spirit unstoppable. Despite the challenges, he persevered, driven by his vision of a sustainable and self-sufficient Philippines. His work was not just about chemistry, but about harnessing the power of nature to meet human needs. Banzan was not just a scientist, but a visionary who saw potential where others saw only a tropical fruit. His legacy is a testament to the power of innovation and the potential of alternative energy sources. His story reminds us that sometimes the solutions to our most pressing problems can be found in the most unexpected places. How did Banzon come up with the idea of using coconut oil as fuel? A question that takes us back to a time when the world was embroiled in a devastating war and the Philippines, Banzon's homeland, was feeling the pinch of reduced fuel supply. In the midst of the chaos, Banzan found an opportunity. He saw the potential in one of the country's most abundant resources, the humble coconut. But why coconut oil? Well, it's because coconut oil, unlike most plant oils, is rich in medium-chain fatty acids, which have properties similar to those of petroleum. Banzan had a hunch, an inkling that this could be the alternative source of fuel his country desperately needed. But a hunch is only as good as the proof that backs it up. And so the tireless biochemist began his experimental journey. Imagine Banzan in his makeshift lab surrounded by beakers and test tubes, the air filled with the sweet, nutty aroma of coconut oil. Each experiment was a step forward, but also a reminder of the challenges that lay ahead. You see, coconut oil solidifies at cooler temperatures, which could clog fuel lines, an issue Banzan needed to resolve. The experiments were tough, the trials arduous, but Banzan was not a man to back down. He persevered, tweaking and modifying his formula, until finally he found a solution. By adding a certain amount of ethyl esters to the oil, he was able to prevent it from solidifying, solving the problem. Banzan's journey was far from easy, but he was fueled by his conviction and the need of his countrymen. He was a man ahead of his time, daring to venture into uncharted territories, challenging the norms and pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. 
Against all odds, Banzon proved that the impossible was indeed possible. His idea was revolutionary, a beacon of hope in a time of despair. And it all started with a single question, a single coconut, and a man's unwavering belief in the power of science. But how exactly can coconut oil be used as fuel? Well, to answer that, we need to delve a bit into the realm of biochemistry. Coconut oil, like all fats and oils, is a form of triglyceride. This means it's made up of three fatty acids attached to a glycerol backbone. Now, the magic of turning coconut oil into fuel involves breaking down these triglycerides into their constituent parts glycerol and fatty acids. This process is called transesterification. Fancy word, isn't it? But the concept is fairly simple. Transesterification involves reacting the coconut oil with an alcohol, typically methanol, in the presence of a catalyst, usually a strong base like sodium hydroxide. The reaction results in two products, biodiesel, which is formed from the fatty acids, and glycerol. The biodiesel can be used directly in diesel engines without any modification, making it a fantastic renewable alternative to fossil fuels. Now you might be wondering, is it efficient? Absolutely. Coconut oil is a high energy density fuel. This means it contains a lot of energy for its weight, making it an efficient fuel source. In addition, it's a renewable resource. Unlike fossil fuels, which take millions of years to form and are depleting rapidly, coconut trees can be grown in a matter of years. Plus, they can thrive in various climates, especially in tropical regions, making it a sustainable option. But the benefits don't stop there. The byproduct of this process, glycerol, has a multitude of uses as well. It can be used in the production of soap, cosmetics, food, and even pharmaceuticals. Nothing goes to waste. Banzon's discovery was not just innovative, it was a game changer. By harnessing the power of a simple abundant resource like the coconut, he showed us a way to fuel our world sustainably. And that, my friends, is the beauty of science and the genius of Julian Banzon. What impact has Banzon's work had on the world? Well, let's dive into the profound implications of Julian Banzon's work. His groundbreaking research has left an indelible mark on the energy sector. He dared to think differently and unlock the potential of a resource as common as the coconut, transforming it into an alternative fuel source. Banzon's work unleashed a wave of innovation in the field of biochemistry. His research on coconut oil as a fuel substitute during World War II helped to lay the foundation for the biofuel industry. Today, biofuels are seen as a promising and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. They hold the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and pave the way towards a greener future. But Banzon's work didn't just stop at the lab. His research has had a significant socio-economic impact, particularly in coconut-rich regions. By harnessing the power of coconuts for fuel, Banzon not only created a sustainable energy solution, but also contributed to the economic development of these areas. His work has helped to create jobs, boost local economies, and promote sustainable practices. Banzon's remarkable contributions to the field of biochemistry have not gone unnoticed. He was the recipient of numerous awards and accolades throughout his career. In 1976, he was conferred the prestigious Philippine National Scientist Award, a testament to his pioneering work and significant contributions to science and technology. But perhaps the most significant recognition is the lasting impact of his work. Banzan's innovative thinking has inspired countless others to explore the potential of natural resources and find sustainable solutions to our energy needs. His legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the incredible possibilities that lie within our reach when we dare to think differently. Julian Banzon's legacy is a testament to the power of innovative thinking and the potential of natural resources. So next time you see a coconut, what will you think of? Perhaps you'll think of Julian Banzon, the remarkable biochemist who saw the potential in a simple coconut to fuel cars during the dark days of World War II. His innovative mind birthed an idea that changed the way we view alternative fuels and his contribution to biochemistry is nothing short of astounding. His pioneering work with coconut oil as a renewable energy source was a beacon of hope during a time of crisis, and his legacy continues to inspire scientists today. His ingenuity not only revolutionized the field of biochemistry, but also proved that the answers to some of our most pressing problems may be found in nature, right under our noses, or in this case, within the hard shell of a coconut. 
Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering who knows you might be the next Julian Banzan. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.